Hello our most valued student, my name is Confident, welcome to a quick revision session and I'm looking at um, a paper that was written in 2014 and a student required that I cover the section on uh, exponential graphs. So this is, if I can just minimize this, so this is the question that I want to look at on exponential graphs specifically because of the request of the student. As I say, as you guys interact, I get to look at some of the comments that you bring in and I also respond through these videos. So there's a student who requested that I do a question on exponential graphs and I got this question and if time allows, I will do also another question. So this is just a quick session and I'm going to go through. It says question 7, given h of x is equal to a to the power I mean a times 2 to the exponent x minus 1 plus q the line y is called to minus 6 is an asymptote to the graph of h p is the y intercept of h and t is the x intercept of h let's make it a little bit smaller so that we can have a full view of this so this is what we're given so you can see the y intercept uh this is the y intercept here to say y intercept is um negative 6 okay and then they are also saying you have a point this is the graph of h and you have a point t is the x intercept so we have got p as the y intercept and t so there is the p and there is the t so now the first part says 7.1 write down the value of q see you are writing it down as one mark so in the exponents you must always remember when they give you your equation let me quickly write it here to say h of x is equal to a times this is a times 2 to the exponent x minus 1 plus q you must always remember what is your q your q is the x this is the asymptote don't forget that so if i'm to spell it properly this is the asymptote don't forget so now the question was uh write down the value of q so the value of q here is our asymptote and they told us that y is equal to minus six is an asymptote so what does it say simple q is equal to negative six that's why they say write it down you don't have to calculate that and then they're saying if the graph if the graph of h passes through point there is a point calculate the value of a they made it four marks i don't know why they made it this so much marks but anyway you're given a point minus one minus five and a quarter let me do this so we are given a point here to say negative one and we have got five and one over four did i put that right negative one and negative so it's both negatives so this is what we have and then now they are saying you need to calculate the value of a is four marks. So, but remember, we are given this equation here to say what is my h of x. h of x is equal to a times 2 to the exponent x minus 1 plus q. So they gave me these two, but I know my q now. q is what? Negative 6, remember. So we say minus 6. You no longer, you no longer need to write the value of... I mean, you have to substitute Q for the value of Q there. So now, let's look at this. Remember, these are my X-axis. And these are my Y-axis. So when I come and substitute, and Y here is my H of X. Don't forget that. Y is your H of X. So if I come and substitute to say minus 5 and 1 over 4 which is my h of x is equal to a times 2 to the exponent x now is minus 1 minus 1 minus 6 it's a matter of substitution there so if i continue with this what i have is minus 5 and 1 over 4 is equal to actually i don't have to say equal to now look at this i've got negative 6 on the other side i can make it join that cross the equal sign it's negative when it crosses it will become positive so this will be the same as saying here plus six you see is equal to a to the power 
I mean a times 2 minus 1 minus 1 with the calculator it must give you negative 2 but as an exponent don't forget so that is that I mean you don't have to do much here you can even go on and say now I'm interested in remaining with a so you see you can divide by what you don't want which is 2 to the power negative 2 why that's what I don't want but what you do on the left you do on the right 2 to the power negative 2 this will simply take you to say your value for a now um, a is equal to you can straight away punch this on the calculator you see so that you don't have to uh, do much so it's a fraction then you say shift that be careful now this is what some students make an error on writing 5 and 1 over 4 they will say minus 5 bracket okay 5 um, and then I don't know how they do it in their calculator but after that okay this is what they do I know they do this fraction and then they play back and they say 5 and they play forward and then they say 1 over 4 that's suicidal of you guys if you do that if I put a negative there look at this equal to it's giving me minus 5 over 4 because this is simple 5 times what you just did here there is a times there is negative 5 if I put a times here the calculator will allow me see that's what you just did it's negative 5 times 1 over 4 now don't do that that's not what you do when you're punching a fraction a mixed number so what you do is say shift you press that number you see the calculator already has the values where you must input your negative 5 and then you've got 1 over 4 now if I say equal to do you see the difference now so don't forget that so let's do it now properly so I've got uh, the fraction here to say negative shift I have that which is 5 and 1 over 4 are you seeing that and then plus 6 and then I divide by 2 to the power negative 2 I prefer this because it gives me my answer straight away I get 3 so a is equal to 3 so the question was here we need what uh, calculate the value of a four marks so a is equal to 3 I don't know why they made it so much marks like that but anyway it's good uh, calculate the average gradient between the x-intercept and the y-intercept of okay calculate the average gradient between the x-intercept and the y-intercept of x now average gradient where is the x-intercept so let's come here and say this is my x-intercept is a t and this is my y-intercept and average gradient remember they are talking about that straight line here that's the average gradient so what I need I need to find the coordinates of t as x y I need to find the coordinates of p as x y then I use the formula for average gradient as y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 as my average gradient equal to see that that's what I'm supposed to use but I need first I need to find what are the coordinates of t and what are the coordinates of what of uh, of p now coordinates of t is the x intercept so look at this I know my value of a remember so I can write this equation as my h of x now is easy to write h of x is equal to where there is a now is 3 dot 2 to the power of x minus 1 minus 6 this is the actual part now let's start with the x intercept now you must know the moment you say x intercept y is equal to 0 but I told you what is y y is h of x that's your y this is same thing whenever you're saying y you're meaning h of x so now if I now find uh, the first part here when h of x is equal to 0 so I will have 0 is equal to 3 dot 2 x minus 1 minus 6 I have to find I have to make x the subject of the formula here now take x to the other side I've got um, in this case 6 is equal to 3 dot 2 to the power of x minus 1 and then continuing there divide by 3 divide by 3 that's the first thing you need to do divide by 3 so that that goes so 3 divided by I mean 3 into 6 gives you a 2 there I think that so you've got 2 is equal to 2 to the exponent x minus 1 this now you have to use the laws of exponents the base is the same what is the power here there is a default one so if the base is the same you use that law which says if a to the exponent x 
is equal to b to the exponent x if x okay actually that's not the one i want to use that's not the one it says if a to the exponent m is equal to a to the exponent n the base is the same therefore m is equal to n remember that so we can use the same thing here to say in this case the exponents one here is equal to that which is x minus one now take minus one to jump the equal sign from negative is positive which is one plus one is equal to x so what is what two is equal to x so that's the first part so x is equal to the coordinates are like this when x is two y is zero you see that that's what we're going to have here as i said we need the coordinates here so it says when x is two y is what is zero now we have to find the y intercept that's the next one so we said x intercept y is equal to zero you write the same equation here to say um h of x is equal to three dot two to the power of x minus one minus six now i want the y intercept remember in the y intercept you do the opposite what is it x is equal to zero so where these x you put zero so y intercept here it will be remember this is your y so you're going to say y is equal to three dot two to the power zero minus one minus six because our x is equal to what our x is equal to zero so what will be our y intercept then the calculator also comes in handy there it will um give you then the answer for that so if you do that it will be 3 times 2 to the exponent 0 minus 1. I didn't have to put that. And then minus 6. And then I get what? Negative 9 over 2. So negative 9 over 2. That's my value for y. So now again, remember the coordinates. How do you write them? When x is 0, y is negative 9 over 2. Or negative 4 comma 5. So you come here again. These are the coordinates we have, we have to put in here to say when x, I mean, when here when x is 0, y is negative 9 over 2. Then we use this formula to find the average gradient. As I put it to say, average gradient, average gradient, you must write it in full though, is called to y2. So let's make this my y2, this my x2, and then this one is my x1 my y1 so y2 it's 0 minus minus 9 over 2 which is my y2 over x2 which is 2 minus 0 i think that then you get the answer it will give us the answer straight away for the average gradient so if you use a calculator there it will be 0 minus and then negative um, 9 over 2 then it's divided by 2 minus 0 and then we get what 9 over 4 right this is the average gradient you can leave it your answer in decimal places in two decimal places this is still fine it is the average gradient so remember they said what is the average gradient between the x intercept so you needed to see the x intercept and the y intercept you get five marks this was also a good question last one 7.4 uh for this what does it say it says determine the equation p uh let me make it a bit bigger so what are they saying they're saying determine the equation and what is the equation determine the equation p of x p if p of x is equal to hx minus 2 let's write that right down so they are saying p of x is equal to h x minus 2 in the form of that now the moment they do that you need to find out what is h remember h is equal to let's go back to the original is 3 dot there it is it's 3 dot 2 to the exponent x minus 1 minus 6 that is my h of x here that's my h of x it is equal to this right now look at this you mustn't now uh, think that this thing is difficult it's the easier thing now 
if I move from edge, then I go to edge. Now, where there is X, okay, let me just use it like this. You see, I'm still having edge, but now where there is that X, I have got now X minus 2. You see, the change is equal to, so I'm writing things that don't change, which is 2. Now, where there is that X value, that's where now we are going to have that X minus 2. Are you seeing that? And then we've got what? Minus 1, which was al always there. And then minus 6. That's how this thing changes. And then equal to 3 dot 2. Now x here, minus 2 minus 1 in the calculator, it must give you minus 3 minus 6. Now this becomes your what? Your p of x. Because they told you this thing is p of x. Then the answer is that. Then you get how many marks? You get two marks for that. So guys, this was a 12 marks. Exponential graphs, not really complicated. You just need to know how to explain and understand them. We've come to the end of our lesson. Remember guys, I'm doing this while you guys are preparing for your final exams. And bring me some of the topics that you're struggling with while you're just preparing for exam. This is just in time, you know. I know the, 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 the website, I mean the YouTube channel has a lot of content. But there is one area maybe you're not finding it. In the in the channel just send me a, a feedback and then i'll make a quick video just in time we've come to the end of all this and remember to subscribe share the channel and you will always uh benefit those whom you want to share with thank you